that's coming up after this. 96.3. As a radio DJ, I'm surrounded by permanent magnets all the time. Like this one here, found in my headphones. And these, found in the big speakers. And there's even one in this microphone. And would you believe there's a link between cows and magnets, as our vet explains. The cow magnet will sit in the front stomach of the cow where it can attract hazardous pieces of metal, like this bit here, which the cow may eat by mistake. While this piece of metal can roam free in the cow's stomach, it could puncture the stomach wall and cause the cow a lot of harm. But while it remains attached to the magnet, it can cause no harm at all. Permanent magnets are useful, but sometimes you need a magnet that can be controlled. A magnet that can be switched on and off, like the one at the scrapyard. It helps them move bits of metal from one place to another. Doctors use temporary magnets too. As an eye surgeon, sometimes we have to remove tiny bits of metal which become embedded in the backs of people's eyes. And if you look at this x-ray, you can see this tiny little fragment here, at the back of this person's eye. And this could cause serious damage. And we remove those fragments using an electromagnet like this one. Now here we see with the electromagnet off, it's not able to lift up a bit of metal like this paperclip. But if I turn the magnet on, we're able to lift up that paperclip. And that's how, as an eye surgeon, we use electromagnets to remove bits of metal from the eye. Magnetism gets everywhere. There's a magnet in anything that has a motor, like your hairdryer or the microwave. There's a magnet in your telephone, in a computer, in a video recorder and your TV. 